work over pesticides, and it's happening right now. All new for you this morning, 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson showing us how one proposal could have a major impact on farmers and environmental activists in our area. Ellen Muma and Ellen Neumeyer are both members of the Aurorans for Climate and Environmental Sense, or ACES. And they're supporting Senate Bill 1856 because they say certain pesticides are detrimental to pollinators. Are so harmful for for birds and bees and, and all kinds of yeah, butterflies, uh, uh, various um, endangered species. If this proposed bill is passed, it will make it illegal to use certain pesticides called neonicotinoids that are used to protect corn, wheat, and soybeans from insects. Um, these neonicotinoids harm three-fourths of all endangered plants and animals. So it's vitally important to our existence. But for the farmers who use the pesticide, it could mean drastic changes to their livelihoods. It has a potential to be a big, big issue. Dennis Bauman owns Back Hills Farm Corps on Grand Island. He says this ban could devastate farmers in this region who rely on this pesticide to protect their crops. And it's not just corn, it's on beans, it's on wheat, it's on oats, it's, it's on almost all the crops that we plant to prevent them from being eaten by insects and uh, bacteria and other things. Dennis also tells me he suggests everyone get educated on both sides of the issue. Because there are issues on both sides. You know, I'm not saying that it's a perfect system, but it's, we, we just have to be able to figure out how to better balance everything that we're doing. The proposed bill is currently in committee hearings. Jordan Johnson, 7 News, Buffalo.